Hi, I'm Misa Hopkins, Spiritual Director and Co-Founder of the New Dream Foundation, dedicated to healing and awakening in the Sacred Feminine. It's also my privilege to be the guardian of an ancient path of awakening through the Sacred Feminine for women and the keeper of a thousand-year-old medicine bowl. I'm here today to invite you to a special women's retreat for deeply embracing the Sacred Feminine through ceremony, guided meditations, and journeying. This retreat only happens once yearly when I bring that thousand-year-old ceremonial mother bowl in the shape of a womb for the ancient women's water ceremony we'll be doing. What is the sacred feminine? It's our yin nature. It's the space or womb from which all of life has been created, and women have a special connection with the still space of potential that lives within them. Today, we're going to discover three important things about the Sacred Feminine. We'll discover what we lost and what we need as women. How to resolve lifelong issues so you can finally heal emotionally and physically. How to empower yourself in fulfilling your life purpose. Would you like to know your true sacred nature as a woman? Let's look at some of the facts, some of the things happening in the world that affect women's ability to connect to their sacred feminine nature. 75% of the people that get autoimmune diseases are women, according to the National Health Institute. Not having a purpose increases your risk for mental decline, according to the Alzheimer's Disease Center. And USDHHS tells us that women are four times as likely as men to have chronic fatigue syndrome. 80 to 90 percent of the people with fibromyalgia are women, according to the National Institute for Health. Did you know that according to the Mental Health Foundation in the UK, abuse is often a factor in women's mental health problems? We women need our own approach to healing and finding our sense of purpose. And there is an ancient practice designed for women by women that heals our hearts, our bodies, and our souls, based in sacred feminine energy. This is the missing ingredient that women need to create the lives we desire. There is a reason this ancient practice works that can be explained in recent research. For example, Paul Grossman documented a study in which patient symptoms and pain improved through mindfulness meditation. Jessica Tabachman reported about an Alzheimer's study where they discovered that having a purpose in life helps fight mental decline. And Dr. Weil's clinical practice has shown that guided imagery can be very effective in the treatment of stress-related disorders and autoimmune diseases. Do you wish you knew how to reduce stress and heal yourself? Would you like to eliminate the blocks to fulfilling your purpose? Would you like better access to your own intuitive wisdom for decision making? If we don't get answers to these questions, you know what happens. We continue to have less energy and the health that we want. We have a difficult time fulfilling our true life purpose. We don't have the confidence to create the income we deserve. We don't get to really enjoy our intimate relationships. And we will always wonder what if. What if there was a way to heal and empower yourself that was tailor-made for you as a woman? I want to share with you something very special that my elders shared with me. So please take a moment with me, sit comfortably, and breathe into the cool stillness of you and let some sweet memory come to mind and feel the love it stirs inside. Allow that love to deepen and expand as you feel compassion for something that has been difficult for you. Notice that you are able to hold both the compassion and the difficult feeling. And allow that love and compassion to go deeper. Notice what changes in the presence of compassion. Notice that whatever is difficult begins to dissolve. Now 
with that yummy feeling, you might have closed your eyes. So I invite you to come back here and be with me now. And the reason that the difficult feeling began to dissolve is because self-compassion is the great healer. And it lives in the still loving space of your yin energy, your sacred feminine, where you are loved for simply being who you are. I'm a woman like you. I experienced childhood abuse. I had multiple illnesses throughout my life, including MS. I was very scared, but I was also very hopeful. I discovered how to heal myself, fulfill my purpose, enjoy relationships, make good money, travel to sacred sites around the world, and best of all, to help all kinds of people around the world. You see, it was the sacred feminine that saved my life. Like so many of us, I had been achieving myself to death. I thought my true value was related to what I accomplished. I thought beingness meant not doing anything. I had very little access to my intuition. And as a result, at one point, I was producing as much testosterone as a male in puberty. I knew there had to be another way. So I started attending women's circles and ceremonies that took me inward into my true nature. I discovered that I had a value beyond what I accomplished, that I also had a value in simply existing. I learned how to get still and be present to my emotions through meditation. And in that process, I learned that beingness was more than not doing things. And in the stillness, I found the compassion and the intuition that ultimately healed me. Through a sacred feminine journey, I claimed my life. I healed the childhood abuse that created the hormone imbalance to begin with. And then I healed my MS with sacred feminine practices, diet, and from the healing gift that emerged from the silence within me. And in the process, I discovered my purpose. What I came to understand is that emotions are a doorway to healing. Now, women have been taught that emotions are to be ignored, but a woman has a limitless capacity to hold pain and joy, and her healing answers are inside those emotions. That's where her freedom lives. By being present to them, difficult emotions dissolve, and joyful emotions inspire your life. When difficult emotions dissolve, you can finally heal. You finally have the energy to fulfill your sacred work. Here's what happens when emotions are not addressed. Columbia Psychiatry tells us that mood disorders are twice as prevalent in women as they are in men. And Rimrock Foundation tells us that more women than men suffer from anxiety disorders. Bruce Lipton, Ph.D., tells us that epigenetics research challenges the conventional beliefs about genes and reveals the role of emotion on our bodies and health. When we are present to our emotions, the women that I have been privileged to work with report that lifelong emotional issues completely disappear. In fact, one woman reported her primary childhood trigger is now completely gone. Women tell me that cycles of abuse they've experienced throughout their lives are ended, and depression they've experienced for years is gone. Women report more effective physical healing when using the sacred feminine practice of compassionately holding their emotions. Women awaken and thrive when compassionately holding their own emotions. When emotions are acknowledged, divine inner guidance can come through. We discover how we are capable and worthy of our sacred callings. And this one is fun. Rather than trying to persuade and influence our loved ones, in some circumstances, we can even attract what our loved ones need and want. So we no longer need to employ codependent methods as an attempt to help those we care about. We use our sacred feminine energy to help them naturally. If we don't heal in love and compassion, we know what happens. We experience 
these kinds of things. NBC News reported that 30% of women worldwide have been abused by partners. Dr. Jens Pressner found that emotional abuse leaves its victims prone to depression and physically affects the brain. There was a study by the Coalition for Marriage, Family and Couples Education that found psychological abuse can create physical problems. In the presence of holding in love, I have seen women manifest a great job manifest new job opportunities for their partners, discover their life work and begin fulfilling their sacred contracts, heal chronic illnesses, and even quadruple income in just a few months. In your feminine nature, there is enough energy to change the world. You discover that your love is enough when you allow yourself to experience the very real space of unconditional love. Now, not codependent love, and there is a difference, but when you immerse yourself in that space that holds all potential in limitless love, limitless potential manifests for you in very real ways. You heal naturally and you flourish naturally. This is the kind of love that is innate to your sacred feminine nature. So let's review. In the sacred feminine, emotions are doorways to healing. Women awaken and thrive when they learn how to hold their emotions. And in your feminine nature, there is power to change the world. That's what the Women, Water and Spirit Retreat is all about. I'd like to share a story with you about someone that discovered this power for herself. Ariane was clinically depressed for most of her life and for more than 10 years in such chronic and intense pain that it was difficult for her to fulfill her sacred work and really enjoy life. After incorporating daily just one of the practices that we use at this retreat, Ariane's life has completely changed. She has written and published a book, and now she helps people clear ancestral blocks that are impeding their sacred work and their health. She tells us she is now living in real joy and limitless freedom. After this video, take a moment to see what other women have experienced through this yearly retreat and its practices. They speak about having the authentic experience of just being with oneself holding a lifelong issue until the energy shifts and they feel complete peace in mind and body. There is someone still working with the insights a year after the retreat. That's because these skills are meant for a lifetime. And they speak about the experience that they had at the retreat as being humbling and inspiring, energizing, and healing. Would you like to have these results? Of course you would, most women do. Then allow me to invite you to this year's Women, Water and Spirit Retreat. And here's what you can expect. On the very first day, I'll introduce you to one of four prescriptions for life that are fundamental to this practice for women. That first prescription is surrender. You'll discover your deeper truths in the ancient practice of talking circle, You'll hold your emotions for healing and awakening in the first step of the creation meditation. This step is what we call the holding and was originally taught to young women when they began their menses. Now we teach it to women of all ages. You'll journey and dream journal to identify what needs to be released and surrendered in your life and to uncover your hidden desires. On the second day, You'll explore the second and third prescriptions, acceptance and desire. You'll explore the insights that are emerging in you through journaling and talking circle. You'll journey to release hidden blocks to acceptance. And you'll integrate the sacred masculine energy of desire to express yourself. This is the second step of the creation meditation and was originally taught to women when they were ready to attract their partner so that they would attract their ideal partner and create balanced relationships. 
you will heal and empower yourself at an ancient women's healing water ceremony. On the third day, we conclude with the last prescription for life, commitment. Again, you'll explore emerging insights through journaling and talking circle. You'll rebirth yourself through a process of energetic nurturing. This is the third and final step of the creation meditation. Originally, this was taught to women when they completed their menses and they were ready to give birth to life in a new way. Now, all three of the steps of the creation meditation are taught to women of every age. And you'll journey so that you can discover the right commitment for you in your life. You'll make your commitment to yourself and the divine at closing circle. In summary, you'll spend three days of healing and awakening in the sacred feminine. You'll discover your sacred feminine essence through your own emotional doorway. You'll journey to a place of profound self-acceptance. You'll journey to release hidden blocks to fulfillment. And you'll journey to discover your hidden desires. And you'll discover your commitment to fulfilling your sacred contract and your most sacred life. That's what this beautiful retreat will give you. I look forward to seeing you and holding sacred space with you in the sacred feminine at this year's Women, Water, and Spirit Retreat. I'll see you there.